In my previous videos, I showed you guys an insanely powerful chatbot template that you can implement into your business for any kind of industry with any kind of actions you can imagine and all of that provided for free as templates and you guys loved those videos so much and asked me so many questions about it with one specific question that came up over and over again which is what I'm dedicating this video for. You guys asked how can I identify properties based on an image and well, here we are. In today's video, I'm not only showing you how you can identify a property based on an image but also how you can use that extracted information to do a live property search so that you can basically refer your clients or whoever is interested into, into this property to an actual property that you kind of offer so that you can kind of schedule viewing with them or add them as a lead or whatever else you want to do. And all of that is possible only by them providing an image to you. Before we head into it, I would like to inform you that my team and I are currently revamping our offers and we are currently accepting three real estate clients that we would like to invite to get started with our new service so that they can level leverage chatbots more effectively, they can optimize leads with it, they can qualify them as well, and they can just overall boost their performance by saving time, money and resources. This whole thing is a beta program, so you will actively working with my team and me to optimize those offers for anyone so that we can all kind of benefit from it. If that is interesting to you, please check out the description down below. There's a form and that is the one you can fill out. So you kind of apply for the beta in case you're interested. Oh, and in case you're new to my channel, a very warm welcome and expect all of the templates and everything you see within this video to be free of cost, downloadable for you within our resource hub. You'll also find the link for that down below in the description. With that out of the way, let's dive into an actual example. This time I have integrated the chatbot directly into Discord so if you stick around for a little bit longer, you will see how you can configure that and use the same thing for your business with whatever chatbot template you had before or with that specific one that I just created right here. As you can see now in the background, we are in the Bright Horizons Realty chat, which is a bot that I created for my company that I made up called Bright, Bright Horizons Realty. And it can basically show you listings of properties, do different kinds of things like schedule viewings and, and leads and so on. And today we are going to use it to actually search a property based on an image that fits our criteria. So to do that, we are going to head over to Google and look for an image of a property that actually fits our needs or that looks like something great that I would like to have. So something that basically is not PNG like this one, so a proper one. This one looks good, for example. So all I'm going to do is I right click it and I copy the image address, which basically is the URL of that image. So now I head back into our Discord chat and I'll ask something specifically about that property that I like. So let's say, I like this property from the image. Uh, how much does a proper like this cost? I'm gonna send the link along and I just send it over. And what I expect now is that the assistant API, which works in the backend, uh, is identifying that I basically want to extract information from an image based on a house that I provided, format that in a structured way and return it to me with that information that I requested, in that case, how much it costs. So let's just wait and see if that actually works. And as you can see, it says the property in the image is a single family home with the following features, four bedrooms, bathrooms, 2.5. Okay, that's probably, that probably can be formatted as it's usually not just 2.5 bathrooms. Then the square footage, lot size, and the year it was built, and it costs approximately 450,000. And that's the cool part. It also asks if you're interested in properties with similar features or within a specific budget range, I can and assist you in finding listings that meet your criteria. Would you, pro would you proceed with a property search? So I'm going to say, uh, yes, please. Um, but I'm seeing here, it says, if so, could you please provide me with your preferred location, budget and any other specific requirements you have? Sure, I don't have any specific requirements, but it should have at least, let's say three bedrooms and should be located in Portland. So what I'm going to do now is I basically just sent that information over to the chatbot I created. And now we have another kind of action that I built in a previous video. The link to that is also down below in the description where we are kind of building more complex actions and that one we basically created. Oh, as we can see, it says there's an issue with a specific specifying the location. I just say no. So I basically don't want to give him any additional information. I just want to make it work with whatever I gave him, which in that case is Portland. So if you have seen my previous video about creating tools, you will probably already know about the action that I created here, which is a live property search. So we basically give our assistant API access to a, to a real estate database that is that uses rapid API to fetch that information based on specific criteria and it returns whatever it can find. And as you can see here, 
It says now, here are a few properties in Portland with at least three bedrooms that you might be interested in. It shows mid-century bungalow, the price, the location, the features, three bedrooms, etc. Then the same for Bethany's townhome, etc. And for Portland home whatsoever. And now I can basically also go to the listing. So let's just do that quickly. And when looking at it, we can see the, that apartment or that house here. We can go through the pictures. It's obviously not exactly what I expected because I wanted to have a proper house. But that might be the budget range. Let's just also see the other one. So that already looks a little bit more like the houses I was looking for. So basically a garden and a couple of bedrooms. It's also inside of the budget range that I defined. And it seems like a, a I would say like a, a proper fit kind of in the sense of with the values I gave it. So I did a great job and now it also asks if you're interested in scheduling a viewing for any of these properties, would you like to get more details? Just let me know for the property, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I say, yeah, a, a viewing for the first property would be great. All right, as you can see, it's now asking me for my full name, email address and preferred date and time of the property viewing. So I can say something like, uh, sure. My name is Janis Moore, email is something like that, and view, and let's say it would be great to view it on the 24th of, let's say, February 2024 at 2 p.m. So now when I send it, I basically have another action built into the Assistant API that can schedule those viewings. So all I want is that this specific action just calls a scenario that can validate that information, the data, and just adds it to a calendar. And as you can see here, it says the viewing for property has been successfully scheduled. Here are the details of your appointment, name, blah, 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 and so on and we'll receive our information shortly. So as you can see, it's a whole flow that we just ran through for, for that one bot and it seems to work amazingly. And the way I build it, it's a little bit more complex, but I'm going to explain it to you in a bit. So just so you see how that works and, and what that does. And let's actually just jump into the fun part and I'm going to show you exactly what I did there, how you can create it for yourself, including with Discord, etc so that you can set it up for your business, configure it in a way you want. And there are tons of predefined actions available in this specific tutorial as well. So if you would like to learn more specifics about how you can configure the AI chatbot template, I'm going to link down below in the description as well, a video for you of how I created the template, what everything does and how you can configure it for your needs. It's kind of compatible between everything that I created. So it means you can use the Discord one for the Telegram one, etc. So let's just dive right into it. And the first thing you need to do is you need to sign up into our resource hub, which is available in the description below as well. And in the resource hub, you will be able to fork a Replit template, which looks something like this. So we basically have a, a code base which, on which the Assistant API runs. And this is the one we are going to use and that manages basically our whole conversations between the Assistant API and so on. The whole action that I basically created, what this video is about, is called Analyze Image. And what it does is it starts a make.com scenario and the, way I, the reason why I built this is because the Assistant API currently at this stage doesn't really support a really good way of extracting information out of the image because it's still not available inside of the beta. So I found a neat way of using make.com and a scenario to kind of get the information out in a structured way so that I can kind of repurpose it inside of the Assistant API to feed it to my chatbot and get that information that I want. So the way I did it is basically just with a simple module that can literally just collect a image URL as you can see here. And this is the whole purpose. And it literally just sends that information over to a webhook URL that I have within make.com, which goes to a scenario that looks something like this, where we basically have the webhook that accepts the stuff, then an open AI uh, request. And then we basically send the information back through the webhook. Uh, if you didn't know that you can actually send information back from a make.com scenario, there's another video on my channel. You can search for, for make.com response. You will find something there. It basically de describes how that exactly works. But anyways, if you don't want to dive into that, this whole, this whole template will be available as a blueprint inside of our resource hub as well. So you can simply download it from there. All right, let's just quickly head into the prompt here because that's a very interesting one. And as you can see, we basically just define that it should extract a valuable and non-personal information about a real estate property, which uses a, I think it's called a image something, but I can show that to you probably. Let's just quickly add a module and I can show you. It's called Analyze Images Vision. So this is the one we basically used for that one. So so we added our prompt here and we also added an example JSON, which looks like this. So it is something that you can basically customize the way you want it. So right now I'm just collecting those information like the price, 
and some more specific features. Like I mentioned, you can just use a, a JSON editor to, to adjust it in the way you want. And then basically we expect that newly formatted JSON back based on the image URL uh, that we sent to the make.com scenario from within our Replit template. And this is literally the whole magic. Then we basically get back a descriptive information that is in the form of a JSON that we are literally just repurposing inside of our code to, to do something inside the action. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, None of this code has been written by me or any other human. This is all generated by AI based on some prompts that are available inside of our resource hub and inside of the video that basically explains everything about that AI chatbot template that you can use here. And for everyone that already built an, a chatbot with my previous AI chatbot template but would like to use this one for Discord, all you need to do, very, very simple thing, you simply replace the resources folder by the other resources folder that you have Inside of your other chatbot template, you do the exact same thing for the tools folder and you do the exact same thing for the config.py file. And these kind of templates or these kind of actions, whichever you want to use, you simply migrate back into the tools folder that you kind of replaced or added here. And this is it. Once you've done that, you can literally just run it and it should work just out of the box like you did it before. One thing to mention though, you definitely need to set up some secrets. So the OpenAI API key is obvious. This is the API key from your OpenAI API dashboard. So you will find it inside of your OpenAI account. The Airtable API key is what we are using for store lead. So if you don't need that, simply delete the store lead.py file and remove that secret here. Or if you don't even have it, since you forked it, you probably don't even need to add it. That counts basically for both of those Airtable fields. The more interesting part for you are basically the Discord token and Rapid API. So Discord I'm going to cover at the end because it's the last thing that I would like to look into because the Rapid API key is basically what we are using for scheduling the property viewings. So again, if you would like to learn more about how we actually set up this real estate listings part, there is also a tutorial about that available inside of the video description from one of my previous videos where we built that so you can look it up in case you're interested. Otherwise, again, you don't need to really worry about it. All you need to do is to just copy the template and just insert your rapid API key and sign up for this specific US real estate listings API. Then this tool should also work perfectly. And lastly, to actually make the whole chatbot work with Discord, you need something like a Discord token, which you get once once you create a bot inside of the Discord developer platform. And I already added that stuff inside of our resource hub as well. So we will have all the manuals available how you do that. And I'm just going to show you how the developer portal looks. It looks something like this. So I basically created my app here. And within the bot, you can basically reset a token, which gives you a token. And this token that you get is the one that you add inside of the Discord token field right here. If you don't see those secrets, you can add them right with here with the new secrets and if you don't see the secrets tab either you click on new tab you search for secrets and you will find the secrets tab here this is the one that you basically then add all right i also add another manual that shows you how you can actually set and create the bot itself so it's this one you will find it as well inside of the resource hub and how you can invite the bot and how you set the permissions for you if you're really interested in setting that one up with discord you can fork the template that i just shared with you here and you need to give it two specific permissions which is the send messages and the read message history permission. Those are the only two that you actually need for making that bot work. So it requires only a minimum of all of the permissions available, but that is something you will literally run through once you create your bot inside of the Discord developer portal. And that is literally it. Once you have done that and you have uh, followed that, that whole configuration of the Discord token and the Rapid API key in case you want them, then you can literally just run that whole thing and try it out inside of Discord by yourself. So you can simply open and uh, search for your Bright Horizons Realty or whatever your, your chatbot is called inside of find or start a conversation and then you will be able to chat with it. And it is completely integrated with uh, tons of features. This whole thing is more as a testing environment, so it is not fully, fully tested. I mean, I built that stuff in a way that I know is working, but obviously there can be bugs in some way, so definitely make sure if you build that to, to look into the console of Replit to make sure that everything else works fine there. I've also added a very, very neat feature that basically allows you to to give the assistant API access to images for a specific message they, that are basically, they are basically added to the thread. So to do that is, if in, case, if in case, let's say you have an image that you would like to add here, you can simply paste the image like this. So you will basically have an image here and then you can add your description whatsoever. And the assistant API will now basically be able to understand that request so that you know that you can kind of like interpret that image from within that message. The reason I didn't use that for the understanding the property is cause I would like to have some more context to it. So I would basically get it back into in a specific JSON format and it's more in a visual way so that you can kind of customize it 
easier without relying on that custom code. That's basically the main reason. And for everyone that's still here, like I mentioned last time, I have created a Discord account where we are all hanging out and just sharing knowledge about the real estate community, about how to create chatbots, how to optimize them, how we can make more out of them. So in case you're interested, feel free to check out the link in the description. You can join us there, it's free and would be happy to see you over there as well. That's it so far for now. So if you would like to learn more about that whole AI chatbot template, I definitely, definitely recommend to check out the video in the description with a tutorial on how you create this chatbot in the first place or and how you configure the tools and how you can create them for yourself. It's a very, very valuable asset that you can have for creating your very own chatbots. And if you just want to try it, all you need to do is literally set up those secrets and uh, set up, I think, the property viewing in here with the two make.com scenarios, one for, one for understanding the image and the other one for scheduling a, an appointment inside the calendar for the scheduled viewing action. And then you can basically also set it up the exact same way. I know that's probably a lot of information for everyone that's new. For the ones that are here, it should probably be a very easy task. For everyone that's new, definitely check out the other videos I released inside of the playlist for that AI chatbot. It's really worth it. And everything is available for free. So just download it and get started on it. And that's it for now. In case you have any questions or you would like to see anything specific in the future videos, definitely drop me a message down below in the comments. I'd be very happy uh, to look over it and see if we can kind of incorporate that into a future video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.